Hi guys, how you all are doing? I'm Ingika Roy. In association with MetaCode, I will be talking about how to become a data analyst from the scratch. Now, prior to that, let me tell you something about myself. I have done my bachelor's in computer science and engineering and master's majoring in marketing. I have overall five years of industry experience in various roles, but my latest role would be business system analyst. I am passionate about data. Like I love digging deep in data. My key competences include Python, SPSS, SQL, Microsoft Excel, Tableau, Power BI, and Jira, which is for adjunct methodologies, business process modeling, and I am learning every day. According to me, I believe that upskilling is really very important to keep ourselves updated in this fast-paced environment. That's all about me. Without wasting any time, let's see what we'll be covering today. We will start with introduction, moving on to roadmap, skills, tools and technologies, portfolio, and ultimately job search. To start with, we will talk about what is data analysis actually. It is the process of systematically applying statistical and logical techniques to describe, illustrate, and evaluate data. The goal is very simple. It is to extract meaningful insights, identifying patterns, and support decision-making. Now, here's a breakdown to the main components. Inspection, it's basically examining the data set to understand its structure, variables, and potential issues. Examples would be, let's say, checking for missing values, outliers, or inconsistencies. Then comes cleaning, removing or correcting data errors to ensure accuracy and reliability. It would be filling in missing values, correcting typos, or uh, removing duplicates. Now that comes transformation, uh, converting data into a suitable format for analysis. For example, uh, we can say normalizing data, creating new variables, or aggregating data points. Then comes uh, modeling, applying statistical or machine learning models to analyze the data. It's very important. Now, the example would be regression analysis to predict trends or clustering techniques to group similar data points. Then comes interpretation. Drawing conclusions is our main motive, right? To have data-driven decisions. So drawing conclusions from the data and translating findings into actionable insights. Example, identifying uh, key drivers of sales growth or uh, understanding customer segments. Now, finally, we really need to tell this to the stakeholders. So communication is very important. Presenting the results in a clear and compelling manner, it often uses uh, visualizations like creating charts, graphs, or dashboards to highlight key finds. These are very, very important when we talk about what is data analysis. Now, the importance of data analysis would be informed decision-making. It enables organizations to make evidence-based decisions, data-based decisions, and not by any intuitions or gut feeling, right? This increases the accuracy, mitigates risks, it increases the efficiency as well. Uh, data analysis have applications everywhere, everywhere mostly. It's business, healthcare, finance, social sciences, everywhere. So in summary, we can say that data analysis is a crucial skill that involves inspecting, cleaning, transforming, modeling, interpreting, and communicating data to uncover valuable insights and thrive through informed decision-making across various domains, right? Uh, now let's see, role of a data analyst. Now, what a day-to-day -day would look like for a data analyst, right? It involves data collection, that means gathering data from various sources, 
databases, APIs, surveys, etc., ensuring data accuracy and integrity. Then comes data cleaning. It removes duplicates, handle missing values, correct errors, standardized data formats, all such things. Then comes data analysis. Now, this is a huge umbrella. It includes performing of exploratory data analysis, EDA, identify patterns and trends using statistical methods and visualizations. And it also involves data modeling, like develop and validate statistical models, regression, classification, clustering to predict and analyze data. Then comes data visualization. Now, if we club data visualization and reporting, then it would be creating dashboards, charts, and graphs, and write reports, summarizing insights and recommendations. And finally, it's always there, collaboration and communication. Why have not written it here? Because your day-to-day -day life does not look like that. Like, if you're analyzing a data, probably after the entire analysis, you will have a presentation, then you will uh, tell the insights, your insights to uh, the stakeholder, right? But it's not every day that you figure out the entire data set because you deal with complex data sets, large data sets. It takes time. You build codes. So, but the final step in everything is collaboration and communication. It's work with the stakeholders to understand the needs and to translate findings into business terms and deliver actionable insights. That's it. So, for example, if we take a retail situation, a data analyst. Uh, might collect sales data, clean it, analyze trends, build predictive models for forecasting, and create dashboards to track sales performance, right? So that is basically how a day-to-day -day, uh, looks like for a data analyst. Let's see the roadmap to becoming a data analyst. Well, let's first begin with the learning of basics, okay? The educational background is very important. Obtain a bachelor's degree in fields like computer science, statistics, mathematics, or economics. Then you have to develop essential skills by learning programming languages like Python, R, gain proficiency in SQL for data manipulation, understand statistical methods, master data visualization tools like Tableau, Power BI. Microsoft Excel is very important. Then comes having some uh, practical experience. You have to gain some practical experience, work on real world projects and internships, build a portfolio showcasing your abilities, and then finally do networking and community engagement and join professional organizations like local meetups and all, and also attending conferences and workshops. And apply for jobs after making a strong resume and LinkedIn profile. And always engage in continuous learning and professional development, be it before job, after job, in the process of learning. It's always very significant. Let's now talk about the skills and tools needed to be a data analyst. First and foremost, the fundamental mathematics, statistics and probability. These are very, very crucial. This concept needs to be very clear. Then comes technical skills, programming languages, data manipulation, statistical analysis, data visualization. In programming languages, we, have prof we need to have proficiency in Python and R, for data manipulation and analysis, and strong SQL skills for querying and managing databases, knowledge of statistical methods and concepts for data interpretation, ability to create compelling visualization using tools like Tableau, Power BI, and libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn. Then, a good data analyst will always have analytical skills like critical thinking, problem solving attitude, attention to detail, ensuring accuracy and consistency in data analysis and reporting is very, very crucial. Ability to analyze data and derive meaningful insights 
a skills to tackle complex data problems and find effective solutions states that you are a good data analyst. Apart from this, certain soft skills are also very essential, like communication, effectively presenting your findings to non-technical stakeholders is an art. Collaboration, working with cross-functional teams to understand data needs and provide insights, and obviously curiosity. A curious and continuous desire to learn and explore new data analysis techniques and tools. Well, the tools would be uh, Python, mostly Pandas and NumPy, and R for data analysis, SQL for data manipulation, Tableau, Power BI, Matplotlib, Seaborn for data visualization, SPSS, ACS, and Microsoft Excel for statistical software. A successful data analyst combines technical expertise in programming and data manipulation with strong analytical communication and problem solving skills, utilizing various tools to extract and present valuable insights. Now, there are various resources available online to learn the skills and tools, and multiple books are also present. Uh, Metacode is soon going to post resources on these topics, so subscribe to the channel to get notified. Now let's talk about how to showcase your work by building a portfolio. How you can do that? By doing certain personal projects, uh, doing some case studies, and uploading that to repository, especially GitHub, which is the most commonly used. Then you can uh, do some blog posts as well, uh, make your own website. But in order to do all these things, you need to have access to data sets. Now, there are multiple and various websites that provide data sets, free sources. I have just jot down a few of those, but there are multiple. You can do your own R&D based on the type of data you want to work on. Uh, among those, the most common people uh, used are Kaggle, Data Hub, Google Dataset Search, Data.gov, and Gapminder. Now let's talk about the most exciting part, the ultimate goal for which people actually study. That is landing a job, right? So the first and foremost thing is networking. In order to network, you need to go to online or offline events, connect with people, like-minded people, how your goals and their goals align. You need to understand and connect with like-minded people with opportunities. There are various communities like in Kaggle, HackerRank, also probably in LeetCode, all these places you can connect with. And also there are various uh, pages, groups in LinkedIn. You can join there as well. Next comes the job board. You need to have a strong CV. And recently, uh, there are multiple other ways how you can see that your CV is strong or not. So we can talk about this in later videos, but uh, you need to have a strong resume with your skill sets, portfolio, everything. And you need to upload this in the job boards like Indeed, LinkedIn Jobs, Glassdoor, and if it's in India, you can try Nokri as well. Now, nobody's going to give you a job if you're not cracking the interview. So you need to prepare for that as well. Now, I have uh, divided into four ways how you can do it. First is uh, prepare common interview questions. There are multiple common technical and behavioral questions that recruiters mostly ask. Prepare it thoroughly. Second is portfolio presentation. Showcase your best projects. Explain everything, the methodologies, visualization, analysis, tools used, everything, and always keep it handy. Third is technical skills. Prepare your technical skills. Brush everything up. And also uh, do coding because you are probably, most probably, going to have a coding around. Then the mock interview, there are multiple platforms that uh, allows candidates to do mock interview sessions to give them a real-time experience. One such example is interview warm-up. 
so you can do all these things to have a great interview preparation hi guys thank you for watching this video and i really hope this helped a lot of people and we're gonna post more such informative videos so stay tuned